<laughs> What's up, y'all? Professor X here. Check it out. Since this week's blog is about embarrassing moments, I had to go back into my memory of moments that was not too cool. It was funny. It's funny that since we're talking about embarrassing moments this week, a friend of mine, I'm a mention that was part of this embarrassing moment is sitting right in, is well laying right in my living room right now watching TV and it's so funny because we got we got noticed by uh, a, a TV show that was doing something called Save Our Streets it was called SOS Save Our Streets it was um, hosted by Channel 5 host I forgot his name Frederick Feliciano, I think it was. Felipe Feliciano, I think that might be the name. And he saw what we was doing. We was out performing. And he said, hey, we'd like to do a story on you and how you, you know, how you changed from getting shot into performing. So, you know, all the crew was here, came to my house, followed us around, and came to the house and did the medicine in Manhattan where we did some more filming. But what, what used to happen that maybe I can shed some education on you newly injured people who wear leg bags is that I have a leg bag and we have a strap that goes over the leg bag now I didn't learn this till recently like why does my um, Texas calf or whatever calf it was called I think it was Texas calf then was always coming off and then I realized that we used to strap the strap over the part of the leg bag that drains the urine so no urine could get through we figured that out like how many years later in my <laughs> in my paralysis which is so funny that you learn simple things like sometimes years after so now what we do is we put the, the strap over the hard part of the tube that comes into the leg bag so it allowed the the little flap the protective flap so nothing back up to flow Ironic, right? It's, it's weird how we had to learn that through constant mistakes after mistakes. So what happened was, this is the day all of the television stove comes on. They got the cameras on us and everything. They talked to us in the house. So we leave. So, you know, they film my friend, my friend Jamie. He's taking me down the stairs. You know, we ain't thinking nothing about it. Everything's cool. Then once we get in Manhattan, we notice, oh, wow, we had an accident. Like, you know, my, my um, Texas cab came off, so, you know, we had to put another one on or whatever we had to do, you know. We had to fix that. You know, it was all on the bottom, so you didn't see it up top. So we wait weeks later, and, you know, the show's coming on. <laughs> and being that this is maybe, like, 15 years later, I, I can talk about it because nobody probably seen the show or can look it up or anything. And... He, as he's carry, as they filming him carrying me down the stairs, my whole left side of my pants and my ass was wet, and we knew that we knew it was a, it was a piss stain. We knew, but I don't think anybody else made it out, which was so funny. I was like, oh my god, we here watching ourselves on national television with me and a big piss stain on the side. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And another moment that, all right, this is getting a little bit more private, but hey, this is what we do at the Ability 411, right? So, I'm having intimacy. And problems I always had with intimacy was being that, I have a super cubic now, so my bladder's supposed to fully empty. So if there's any intimacy, I shouldn't urinate on myself. But there was times where there's intimacy and I get those chills like, oh my God, what's going on? Is she hurting me? <laughs> or am I peeing on myself? <laughs> oh boy. That's why I always wore condoms because, yeah, I did. I told her, you know, I, it, was, it, it, it wasn't embarrassing because the girls, the girl, the girl, I don't want to say girls, the girl was cool with it you know she was like cool she understood she had to she had to get off run and go get a urine and you know 
I mean, first time this ever happened to me. I mean, come on, you know, that's, that's considered embarrassing. So, as I got into relationships after and more and more, I just began to explain to females, you know, this is what go down, this is how my life is, this is what, this, you know, we have intimacy, this might happen. You know, that's because I wasn't, I didn't have the super pubic thing. So everything was like, when my bladder fills, it'll empty. And of course, if there's a sense of intimacy, <laughs> Boom, you know, it's like tap. You tap in the bladder, you're causing it to spasm, and I'm going to urinate. So that's what happened there. So, I mean, I'm trying to think. Um, I didn't, I can't, I'm trying to think what other embarrassing moment I may have had that maybe I don't feel embarrassed about because I learned to accept a lot of things that do happen. But um, let me think, let me think. You know, those are the two big ones I think I can remember. One where I'm on television with piss and urine all on, the, on my pants and behind me, my friend taking me down the stairs and we're looking like, oh my God, look at that. And, you know, during intimacy where I might have an accident. And this is, like I said, this may help other people who are out there, other quads like myself who may have experienced this. And, know that you know don't be embarrassed you know you gotta learn who you are you know and sometimes it takes years I'm just still learning things right now till this day like why am I going through all of this what can I do to stop all of this going on like I, I, I had a super pubic and in the beginning it seemed cool but I just started like still have times where um like it would get clogged so is that it has to be irrigated. I mean, it's just things you still gonna learn. There's like, is there a perfect solution to each problem? No, but there's a, it, is it a better solution? Yes, because I, when, when I didn't have the super pubic, I would go through dyslexia a lot. I would always get chills and I would know, y'all, you know, my bag is about to empty. And you know, at then when I'm young, when I'm in my 20s, it was like, you know, cool. But as I got older and dealing with all of that, it just gets to me. So right now, when I, when I get the moments where, you know, my bladder, when I change the tube in and my bladder's hurting, I'm just having sweats, I got to take Tylenols or my stomach gets bloated, you know, because that's what happens with people in wheelchairs, you know, but our stomach bloats up and that causes me to sweat, so I got to take Tylenols, you know, so it's just things I have to learn so I can continue to function during the day so I don't just sit in the house and just be in pain and suffering. I just take medication, whatever it is that I need. I know sometimes if I take a a strong painkiller like Percocet or something. I mean, I'm good, you know, I'm good, but some things work, some things don't, but we just, we just gotta continue. And I don't know, like I said, I can't think of too many embarrassing moments because those were like the two biggest embarrassing things that happened to me and I just wanted to fill up my 10 minutes, you know, <laughs> or 13 minutes, however much time YouTube gives you, just to, you know, talk to you about other things and besides just the embarrassing things, but just to tell you. And again, tell all the ladies that are part of this this whole thing that we're doing. You know, I got an email, someone asked me a question. You know, it's it's beautiful, you know? It's opening the doors, it's, it's, it's having this conversation. We can we can talk one-on-one -on -one in private to people. People could just email and say, I got a question for such and such and boom, you know, it's all between each other, you know, because people are embarrassed, you know, that's, that's, that's it, people are embarrassed by just the way they look. Okay, let's, let's say that, let's say that again, you know, I used to be embarrassed because I had quad arms and my big belly, now, you can't see it right now. I mean, that embarrassed me, but then as I got to a point where, like, I made my documentary, I was like, man, listen, people, we all do this, I got other quad friends that do this. I got power friends that got look, you know? I mean, this is who we are, you know? If Rick Ross can be on screen taking his shirt off, shirt off, then why can't we, you know? <laughs> we gotta just learn to love ourselves and express ourselves no matter what's wrong and what, what goes on. But I know you get embarrassed in the beginning and I've been there. So I'm not forcing you to say, hey, you better, you better do like I say. It ain't about that, it's about, you know, we're here to support and we're here to understand. Well, other people may say, hey, you should be happy you're alive, yada, yada, yada. Please. You know, we, we here, we support, we understand each other. Thing I say to people in this situation, it takes time. Whatever you have in you that it needs, if you need to talk to somebody, 
Capabilities 411 was created just for that reason. Talk to. Okay, my 10 minutes is, is on the mark. Like I said, I couldn't think of nothing else embarrassing. Maybe I'm embarrassed because of that. Professor X, once again, another Friday. Embarrassing moments. Peace and love to all my high rollers, quads, paras, spina bifidas, cerebral palsias, um, muscular dystophas, whatever it is out there. Peace and love to y'all. Hit us up, ask us anything you want to know, questions, and love you.